Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When your job calls for the grinding of large tree stumps, we offer the 30SG Stump Grinder from Barreto. The hydraulic cutting reel can tackle stumps up to 12 inches deep. Its simple controls and track drive system allow you to maneuver with ease and get your job done with increased efficiency. Before operating the stump grinder, make sure to read and understand all operating and safety instructions found in the operations manual as well as posted on the unit. Always operate the unit in compliance with all local, state, and federal regulations, including OSHA regulations. As with the operation of any power equipment, you must wear the proper safety gear. PPE includes safety boots, gloves, hearing protection, a face shield, and a hard hat. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing, jewelry, or anything that could become caught in the machine during operation. Only operate the stump grinder outdoors and avoid breathing engine exhaust and fumes. Engine exhaust contains toxic carbon monoxide gas, which can cause unconsciousness and death. Never leave the machine unattended with the engine running. Do not operate the machine near any source of flammable dust or vapors, as sparks from the engine exhaust or fuel fumes could cause an explosion or fire. Stay clear of the moving parts of the stump grinder. Contact with the cutting wheel in operation will cause serious injury or even death. Avoid contact even when the wheel is not moving. Before you dig, be sure to call 811 and complete a survey of the site to determine the location of utilities. Buried electric cables and gas lines can cause serious injury or death. Make sure the hitch on the towing vehicle is the appropriate size to fit the trailer. Make sure to perform regular maintenance on the unit. Talk with your rental associate or refer to the operator's manual for more information on maintenance. Before operating, familiarize yourself with the controls of the machine. The keyed ignition switch is used to start and stop the engine. The key switch is located on the engine adjacent to the choke and can be seen while standing behind the machine. The throttle controls the engine speed. It is located on the left side of the control panel. When cutting, operate the unit at full throttle. The parking brake is located behind the left-hand track motor. Move the handle down to engage the brake and up to disengage it. The track controls located in the center of the control panel determine the travel direction and speed. Track controls are designed to be operated with two hands. Pushing the control handles forward from neutral causes the machine to move forward. Pulling the control handles back from neutral causes the machine to move backward. Moving the track control handles farther from neutral increases the speed. Steer the machine by moving one track control handle farther than the other handle. This causes the track on one side to rotate at a different speed than the opposite track. Pivot turns can be made by moving one control forward and the other control back. The cutter wheel controls are located to the left of the track controls. To start the cutter wheel, hold down the thumb button on the control handle, then depress the trigger. After the wheel is started, the thumb button can be released, but the trigger must be held to keep the cutter wheel turned on. To raise the cutter head, use your left hand to pull the cutter height control bar back. To lower the cutter head, push the cutter height control bar forward. The cutter head swings to the left and right by moving the control lever left or right. Always perform a thorough walk-around inspection before using the machine. Investigate any job site prior to operation and take necessary measures to eliminate or reduce any hazard. Check the engine oil and fuel level before starting the stump grinder and remove the tie-downs. Open the fuel shutoff valve. Move the throttle all the way to run. Close the choke. Turn the key switch to on. As the engine warms, gradually open the choke. When unloading the stump grinder from a trailer, make sure that the towing vehicle is parked on level ground and the trailer is securely attached to the towing vehicle. Raise the cutter head. Unlock the tilt trailer latch pin and rotate the latch pin handle to lock it open. 
drive the stump grinder slowly down the trailer. As the weight of the unit reaches the balance point, the trailer bed will tilt up. Continue backward until the tracks are completely on the ground. This video will cover a few of the more basic operations of this machine. Talk to your rental associate and consult the owner's manual for more information on additional uses. Clear the work area of debris, branches, and rocks. Raise the cutter head and move the machine into position to cut. Position the machine so the cut head can swing across near the edge of the stump. Open the chip shield. Move the throttle lever forward to full throttle. Start the cutter wheel. Using the cutter head control lever, slowly swing the cutter wheel across the edge of the stump. Listen to the engine speed and watch the cutter wheel speed. Adjust the swing speed and cut depth to maintain high engine and cutter speed. Avoid bogging the engine and stalling the cutter wheel. After the swing is complete, Move the cutter wheel down a few inches and repeat the cutter wheel swing. Continue making a series of cuts down the edge of the stump until the edge is cut to below ground level or the teeth are cutting at a depth below half the wheel radius. Depending on the diameter of the stump, it may be necessary to move the stump grinder. After cutting the first edge, move the machine forward and repeat the grinding procedure until the stump is completely cut to below ground level. It is more efficient to cut the edge of the stump rather than cutting a wide area. Once the teeth are cutting at a depth below half the wheel radius, lift the cutter and move the machine forward to begin cutting a new edge. Turn the unit off and allow it to completely cool before cleaning or transporting. The muffler and engine get hot enough to cause serious burns. Once cool, use water to rinse off loose debris. Avoid directly spraying water into or onto the engine muffler, carburetor, and air cleaner areas. After rinsing, it's good practice to always operate the machine functions briefly to help chase water out of the cutting wheel and other machine components. When loading the stump grinder onto a trailer, make sure that the towing vehicle is parked on level ground with the vehicle's parking brake engaged and that the trailer is securely attached to the vehicle. Unlatch the trailer tilt bed latch pin to tip up the trailer bed. Leave the latch pin with a spring-loaded action will engage the pin with the latch when the bed is leveled again. Make sure the chip shield is closed. Line up the stump grinder with the rear of the trailer. The cut head should be toward the trailer. Drive the stump grinder slowly forward onto the trailer bed. As the weight of the stump grinder reaches the balance point, the bed will level itself. Lower the cutter head to the trailer bed. Reduce the engine throttle to idle. Move the ignition key switch to the off position to stop the engine and then remove the key. Close the fuel shutoff valve. Engage the trailer tilt bed latch pin. Secure the stump grinder with tie downs. Engage the parking brake and recheck the trailer connections before towing. For more information on large equipment rentals, visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rental.